In this series, we will be going over degrees and radians and the conversion between the two units and their definitions and how they relate to the sine and cosine functions. If you haven't already, please take a second and subscribe to this channel. And thank you for watching. Let's begin now on MathCat. Three, two, one. Let's talk about degrees and radians and what the definitions are and where they came from and which is better, which is worse, in which situations. You're probably more familiar with degrees. That's what's first taught in mathematics. And you may think degrees has some numerical equivalent to the distance between two lines. In reality, degrees comes from what part of a circle these two lines cut out when they're extended all the way to a circumference of a circle, given that all the way around the circle is 360 degrees. So whatever fractional part of the circle 45 scribes out, that's what we mean by 45 degrees. It's a fractional part of the overall circle. So let's look at why 360 degrees. And the answer is, it goes all the way back to the mathematics used by ancient Babylon, who used base 60 numbering system instead of base 10. You'll notice 360 is divisible by 60. We have 60 minutes in an hour. We have 60 seconds in a minute. All because ancient Babylon used base 60 instead of base 10. Now let's look at radians. Theta is the letter used when talking about the angle in radians. And radians, just like degrees, is based on the amount of a circle that two lines cut out when you extend them all the way to a circumference of a circle. Radians are based on the formula for the circumference of a circle, pi times the diameter of the circle, where the diameter is equal to two times the radius. Sometimes the circumference formula is written two pi r, where the two times the r equals the diameter. But we don't write two r pi, we write two pi r. So in the case where r equals one in the unit circle, our formula would be two times pi times one. So the distance all the way around the circle would be two pi. In degrees, all the way around the circle was 360 degrees. Given these two numbers, we can figure out how to convert from degrees to radians or radians to degrees. But before we do the conversion, let's talk about which is better, degrees or radians. Even though degrees is based on base 60 from ancient Babylon, all of our maps and units of time and a number of other things use degrees. So if you're using an existing map, an existing unit of time, or other things already in existence, you could argue degrees are better. Radians are based on the formula for a circumference of a circle, 2 pi r. And pi is known to many, many decimal places. So in modern physics, when we're measuring things that are very small, or in astronomy, where we're measuring things that are very large, we can use a lot of decimal places that are already known for pi to calculate these quantities. This is why in physics and astronomy and other sciences, radians are the preferred unit of measure. So if you're using maps, units of time, things already in existence, degrees would be better. If you're trying to figure out things very large, very small, or in the sciences, you may find radians are the better unit to use. For conversion, we said that one degree is one 360th of the way around a circle, and that one radian is 1 over 2 pi of the way around the circle. From this, we can see that degrees to radians would be 1 over 360 over 1 over 2 pi, or 2 pi over 360 degrees, or pi over 180 degrees. We just take the units and divide them out. And if degrees to radians is pi over 180 degrees, radians to degrees is simply 180 degrees divided by pi. Let's look at an example of a conversion. To convert 30 degrees to radians, you can either remember the formulas from degrees to radians and radians to degrees, or you can remember that you want to cancel your units. In order to cancel degrees on top, you have to multiply with degrees on the bottom, and that would be this conversion, pi over 180. And 30 divided by 180 is 1 6, 1 6 pi, or pi over 6, radians. To convert from radians to degrees, 
If you have pi over 120 radians, you can either remember the formulas or you can remember you want to end up with degrees on top, and that would be this formula, pi on the bottom, pi's would cancel, and you have 180 over 120 or 1.5 degrees. If you have a whole number of radians, 10 radians, you would still use the same conversion factor, degrees on top. You could either leave the answer in terms of the symbol pi, you would have 1800 over pi degrees, or if you needed a decimal place, you would use some substitution for pi to whatever unit of decimal places you needed for accuracy. 573.25 degrees. That's an overview of degrees and radians, which is better for which situation, and how to do a simple conversion.